So this is my review of the Archery Bowbands um, Tri-Land Bow. I've actually owned quite a few of these, um, one in the 240 pound range, which I couldn't shoot, um, but it was a nice foot bow, uh, shooting with my legs, it was very fun. Um, and then I also had, you know, um, another one very similar to this weight, but it was 170 pounds at 32. Um, anyways, all of them work great, I've never had any issues with them. And of course, they're not made of you. Don't expect them to be a medieval bow, but they're just a very functional bow. And uh, if you're in North America, I think I recommend getting these because it's a lot cheaper than getting a U bow. And um, you know, a lot of this material is is very accessible in North America because you know, Epe is used in flooring, bamboo um, I think is also used in flooring and also hobbies. And then hickory is very common in, in North America. And then buffalo horn is the local horn available here in America. So really, this is a very American bow, if you, if you think about it. It's a very much a 21st century bow because it's laminated with ipe and bamboo. Hmm. Almost at the red dot. So what do I think of this bow? Well, Archie Bowman never fails me, honestly. All the bows I've had from Archie Bowman has not broken yet. Um, some of them, they start developing these, uh, they're, they're lines, they're not really cracks, they're just compression lines and you really have to look at the bow carefully to see it. That's kind of reasonable considering that these are really heavy war bows made of natural materials. And you have to keep in mind, historically, a lot of the war bows were just used for one campaign. And then they were basically disposed of, and then a new one is made. They're not going to last you a decade, you know. Um, and that's with all natural wood bows. Um, after a few years, especially with these really heavy weights, um, they most likely uh, should get retired. You can keep them hanging on the wall, but I wouldn't shoot them after a certain amount of years. And it really depends on the, the craftsmanship and the boyer. And I think Archie Bowman does a good job for what they really are. These are budget uh, laminate longbows that, um, especially on the heavy weights, that none of them have broken yet. Um, so uh, just like you, your body uh, over time, they don't last that long. Over time, our bodies are gonna get weaker and they're the same with these. On the fiberglass bowls, I find they last a lot longer, but then you're not really using organic materials. Yes, the, the string is synthetic. Um, it would be cool to see some uh, someone making you know organic warble strings. That would be really awesome. But besides the string, everything else uh, is organic materials. Oh, and the glue. I think he uses tight bond for the glue, but it works really well for the laminate bows. Um, and you can get the option of removing the grip, and he actually makes um, self-hickory bows, um, so just like a war bow, and that is as historical as you can get without using you, um, where you essentially just have, um, you know, just a self piece of hickory. And those bows, he sells them too in the really heavy weights. So the leather grip is less of a war bow feature, but um, later on in the Victorian time period, you see more uh, more things like that with the leather grips, fancier decorations, you know, for our for for archery. So, but the leather grip is optional. You can take off the leather grip if you want. It takes literally a few minutes to cut the leather grip off. So you you don't need the leather grip. I like it because it's comf comfy to hold on to. You know, everything about these bows I like, with the exception that he doesn't make U bows. But I don't want to pay thousands of dollars to make to buy a 150 pound U longbow. They're so expensive, um, the, so just keep that in mind. <laughs>